Greetings everybody, welcome to Snapshot 16W38A. This is probably the last snapshot before Minecon, where all the 1.11 features will be revealed. So this is probably the last bug fixing slash small feature snapshot before we start getting into the big stuff uh, after Minecon. So, first things first, we have a new feature this week. Actually, it's a bug fix, and that is that squids will no longer spawn in lava. So, in 1.10, if you had lava between... Uh, level, I think it's 63 and 46, you would see squid spawning, and yeah, they'd be dying in there. And this used to be used to make really efficient squid farms, but unfortunately, as you can see, we have no squid spawning and dying in the lava as of now. You can now make longer messages in chat compared to 1.10, so they've actually increased the character limit for the chat to 256 instead of the usual 100. So I'm just typing in a bunch of gibberish into chat. Maybe it'll come out saying something cool, I don't really know. But we're just going to see if we can hit the character limit here, and there it is. And yeah, you can see you can type in much more in chat than you previously could. Now for a change that a lot of you are going to be very, very happy about. You can now place an elytra onto an armor stand, and it will render. So you can see here, elytra is on the armor stand. There is a bit of a rendering issue, which sometimes randomly fixes itself like that. But yeah, elytras will now render on armor stands, and actually other entities as well. So if I go ahead and come on down here, there is a zombie down here somewhere. There he is, that's wearing a elytra. So entities will now have the elytra rendered if they are equipped. We also have a new game rule this week, and that is the game rule do weather cycle. So do weather cycle, you can change it to either true or false. It's defaulted to true, which means the weather cycles from clear skies to rain to thunderstorms. But if you change it to false, like I'm going to go ahead and do right here, I see game rule do weather cycle has been updated to false. That basically disables the weather cycle. So, since it's clear skies right now, and we've disabled the weather cycle, it will always remain clear skies forever on this world. And likewise, if it was uh, rain, so if we went ahead and changed the weather to rain, since the weather doesn't cycle, it will just constantly rain forever on this world. So with this command, you can make either constant clear skies, constant rain, or constant storm worlds. So, very interesting command there. Believe it or not, there's another new game rule this week, and that is the Max Entity Cramming game rule. Uh, you can change this value, but by default it's actually set to 25. So that means you can have 25 entities in a 1x1 one one block space, and once you have more than that, they will start to suffocate. So this actually does have pretty big implications for mob farms. And let me just show you here by putting in 25 uh, entities into this 1x1 one one square, and then I'll add the 26th. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 24, 25. So we have 25 mobs in there right now. And watch what happens when I add the 26th. They all start to suffocate, and one of them dies. Uh, once one of them dies, the others stay in there, but they're all at uh, very low health now. So if I go ahead and add another one, you see as one drops in, another one dies. So this has huge implications for AFKing on servers, like on a mob farm. Uh, like at a mob farm, because, yeah, you'll no longer be able to get the XP from hundreds of mobs, because uh, the cap is now at 25 mobs per one by one hole. Now, with this max entity cramming rule, there is a offset of one for whichever value you put in. So if I go ahead and do slash game rule max entity cramming, and let's say we'll set it to two, um, it'll actually be three mobs you can cram into one area before they start to suffocate. So I'll put in one, two, and you can see there's nothing happening. Three, still nothing happening, uh, but at four now, they all start to suffocate until one dies, and then, yeah, it works as you'd expect uh, after that. Also, I'll just note here that this does not apply to boats. As you can see here, we have over 100 boats in this one little spot here, so the elytra launchers are safe for now. One very small change this week is that the icon for the brewing tab in the creative menu has changed from a water bottle to an uncraftable brewing potion. And also this uncraftable potion now defaults to uh, potions which don't have tags, like custom potions you make that don't have tags. So that is pretty nifty. Another bug fix this week is that guardians that die from lava damage will now drop cooked fish instead of raw fish. So we should see one of these guys hopefully drop a cooked fish here. Let's just see. Guys, our last chance. Yep, there it is, right there. So yeah, he dropped a cooked fish instead of a raw fish. So guys, that's it from Snapshot 16W38A. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.